Here's that I might show you in maybe November, where the warmest spot anywhere in the Bay Area is 73 degrees in Livermore, which normally is about 87 or 88 this time of year, is 67 degrees right now, 20 degrees below average currently. Now, San Francisco is only six degrees cooler than Livermore. That's something we typically do in the fall, not the summer, but here we are. San Jose sunshine, but chilly, 71, conquered. The sun finally came out for you, 70 degrees. So after all of that, obviously, it'll be a chilly night for baseball. Cloudy and cool in Oakland. The A's taking on the Kansas City Royals. Let's win this series, guys. 58 degrees, your first pitch temperature. Overnight tonight, upper 50s. Now, overnight lows don't change much, despite whatever happens in the afternoon. This time of year, we will cool down anywhere between 55 and 65 degrees, with very few exceptions. Uh, tonight's not one of them. Redwood City, 59. San Jose tonight, 59. Napa, 50. Plan on widespread morning cloud cover. Some kids heading back to school, so that sunrise time is a little bit more important. 625 sunrise tomorrow. This map shows you what's going to happen weather-wise for the next six days. We have an area of low pressure, which is passing over northern Nevada right now. Brought some rain to our east. We're not getting any rainfall, but boy, that marine layer was thick. It did go all the way inland, and temperatures were held down uh, 10 to 20 degrees today. That hangs out tomorrow. We're on the wake of that system. And then after that, we have a building ridge of high pressure. This will increase our temperatures. Three to five degrees each day, Wednesday through Friday. And by the end of this week, temperatures are back to average or perhaps even a little bit warmer than average. Future casts will show that cloud cover all the way out to Fairfield and Vacaville, all the way down to Morgan Hill and Gilroy. So it's going to push inland tonight. So widespread cloud cover. And it was a breezy night last night. It will be a breezy night again tonight. So plan on that overnight into the morning hours. The clouds will burn off. We will get mainly sunny skies by tomorrow afternoon, but temperatures will continue to run below average. So we're not as chilly tomorrow, but still below what is normal for mid August. A gradual warming trend each day throughout the week, getting us back to average by Thursday or Friday. And the overall weather pattern, just like the entire summer, is not conducive for warm weather near the water. That warm up that we typically get a couple times in the summer hasn't materialized this year. Case in point, San Francisco, 60. Oakland, 70. Normal, but certainly not warm. San Jose, 77. Tomorrow's a warmer for you. Concord, you're up to 79. Livermore, you're up to 79. Mid 70s for Napa and San Rafael, 78 in Santa Rosa. So warmer each day. We'll see a few low 90s by the end of this week, but we stay in the 60s near the bay. Next week for the eclipse on Monday, plan on more morning clouds. Not a good sign. That's your forecast. We'll be right back.